right guys welcome back cfp here and this is survival living so what are we doing we're vacuum sealing today we are vacuum sealing like there's no tomorrow okay well we're vacuum sealing as if the uh food supply won't be there tomorrow uh got a lot of stuff we got to do um i'm not gonna bore you with a whole bunch of me vacuum sealing a bunch of food but you know we've got beans we got rice we've got evaporated milk we got a break down we've got spaghetti i'm going to break down and put in vacuum one of the things i love is toilet paper toilet paper vacuum sealed guys that's two rolls we vacuum seal our toilet paper look at how much more we can store side by side two rolls of toilet paper okay you don't have to do that but when space is limited it's awesome to be able to vacuum seal stuff uh, what else are we working on today? Vacuum sealing sugar, right? Some people don't like to vacuum seal sugar and stuff because it makes it into a brick. That's quite alright because when I open this up, I don't mind breaking it up. I know it's vacuum sealed and I don't have to worry about it getting wet or anything like that. I don't have to worry about ants or anything getting to the sink. You can put it in glass. Of course you can. You got to move around glass. You got to compensate for weight of glass. So it's just um, easier for me to vacuum seal. Flour. Flour is also another thing that we vacuum seal up. We do not leave it in the bags. We break everything down and vacuum seal. So that is what we are working on today. I really hope others are doing the same. Okay. This vacuum sealer here, I think it was a $20 vacuum uh, vacuum sealer. I think that's what I paid for, 20 some bucks. It's one of the cheapest ones I found online. And it's been holding out. We even have a spare one just in case this one ever gives out on us. But it has not given out on us yet. Now with our vacuum seal, guys, usually I use my coffee thermos cup for our measuring. All right. Um, it's, it's roughly a cup. So that's what we usually go by. All right. So one of my favorite vacuum bags are these smaller ones right here. They work great for cup sizes. Now when we do our rice, we do a cup size. All right. According to a bag of rice right here, servant size is quarter cup dry. 100 servings per container. This is a 10 pound bag. Now, if you Google it, it says half a cup is a um, servant size. I don't know. We do half a cup each for the wife and me when we do our preps. We break everything down. That way, Instead of vacuum sealing this whole bag as one whole bag, we break everything down in case there's any type of contaminants that enter the bag. Everything's broke down. So we only stand a chance of losing one or two of these due to some type of event compared to a whole 10 pound bag of rice. That's why we break everything down. And plus it's pretty much broke down to meal size because one cup of this is for two people. They recommend according to this bag, a quarter cup per individual per serving so we're making additional servings for two people so we're doing a whole cup so that's basically what we're doing guys uh, this here is powdered eggs yes powdered eggs are awesome these are actually um, powdered eggs from Augusta Farms uh, we had opened up a couple of our uh, number 10 cans of Augusta Farms mainly because we want to try them out on certain things and these are the eggs yes we vacuum seal we throw in a oxygen absorber in there we vacuum seal them we break them down to certain meal sizes now this is, looks like a lot doesn't it all right this is actually for omelets all right two people omelets so yeah basically a cup of this and a cup of water when you're dealing with these powdered eggs from uh, Augusta Farms and they taste great don't get me wrong I love them I like regular eggs but these from Augusta Farms are nice we break everything down so let me go ahead and get into this and i've got to break down some more stuff coffee things like that so now guys we do have instant coffee this is the worst thing i've ever vacuumed seal and i'll tell you why first let me go ahead and say if you get instant coffee just leave it in the jar okay most of the time it comes in a plastic jar glass jar leave it in the jar because when you vacuum seal instant coffee you get these bricks, okay? They do not break down or dilute very well. As a matter of fact, it's kind of hard to measure them out when you're trying to make coffee. Now, they still taste the same, but they become this hard brick, 
all right now when you try and you break it up you may as well just keep it in the bag bust it up as best as you can and it will go back down to the powder form the crystal powder form which isn't too bad if you cannot break this stuff down which like i said you can break it down um it turns it to like a tar inside your cup when you put your hard water your hot water in there and it's hard to dilute when it's all clumped up like this so if you decide to vacuum seal like we have done like i said it was a mistake in this aspect you're gonna have to make sure you break up your your bobs okay they do break up pretty easily um we vacuum seal ours for storage space because we can actually flatten this sucker out stack many and stack many on top of each other compared to dealing with jars but you will run into this issue where you get these little bricks of coffee and again just take it and break it up with your thumbs i use the plastic bag so i'm not contaminating it with my finger oils although i did reach down in there and touch my block anyway i don't think it's gonna hurt anything but see stuff like that guys you gotta take a look at it. so on this channel we try to show everything i mean like i said this is what we do here and this is the problem we ran into it's not that big of a problem it is a little bit of a nuisance but it does break up all right so we've got coffee here since i opened up that bag i'm just sealing it back up guys As you can see there are some of those big old rock of coffee there so we're just going to vacuum seal everything up There we go. This thing has seen some miles. This vacuum sealer has. This is back, uh, this is the same vacuum sealer we had in a pocket. And we use it every week. Alright, if we're not um, doing preps, we're just doing stuff right here around the house too. Alright, let's sit for a few seconds. That way it cools that strip down. And boom, we've got coffee. Alright, that is instant coffee. Now, like I said, there's those big blobs you have to break those things up or they've turned into like a tar inside your coffee so anyway anyway guys I hope everyone is taking these upcoming events very seriously okay I hope that you're getting food put back all right you've got to have food to survive you got to have water you got to have a way to filter out water I can't say it enough you need to start putting food back okay I mean guys this I forgot how much we paid for the 10 pound bag. 20 pound bag at Walmart, rice. It was $10 and change, 11 bucks, okay? Now, what do we got here? Serving sizes. About 220 serving sizes per bag uh, at quarter cup. Calories, 160 per quarter cup. All right, so we do half cup each per meal so that's 200 320 calories with just the rice that's a long ways from a 2,000 calorie diet per day and some believe that we need to eat more than 2,000 calories if you're if you know shit hits the pan excuse me SHTI so we got beans all right quarter cup 100 calories 103 servings in this this is a eight pound bag so half a cup again, another 200, that's 560 calories for just rice and bean meal at half a cup each. Then you can throw in other stuff, guys. All right, you've got your meats, you got your canned vegetables, things like that. That adds to your calories. Can you survive on just rice and beans? Yeah, you can. Is it going to be very bland over time? Yes, if that's all you eat all the time and you will have to eat a lot of rice and beans, to get your 2,000 calories, but you're not going to starve either, okay? Anyway, guys, you can survive less than 2,000 calories. Your body can. Um, hell, you can survive on 1,200 calories a day. Is it recommended? No. Are you going to be doing a lot of work? No, you're not. If you don't have the calories to burn, you're not going to be doing much, or you're going to burn yourself out. So anyway, guys, let me get back to work. I don't want to bore you with me vacuum sealing nonstop. Me, personally, I enjoy it because it's it's interesting to me i enjoyed doing this uh we do this all the time my, my wife went to work after i got off work and she goes uh well enjoy vacuum sealing today i said oh i will she's like yeah i know you're kind of a freak yeah maybe i am but hey guys i enjoy doing it all right talk to you guys later